Hi guys, I'm getting ready to do a weekly love reading. Um, this is for, I'm going to pull, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just totally getting messages and while I am talking and that just really threw me. Okay, now they're falling in my lap. Okay, two of wands and chariot and I'm going to put them like that because when they fall out, sometimes they do come out upside down, but I usually put them right side up because that's normally how the messages come out. Um, two of Wands is making a decision going forward with something, and with the chariot, that makes complete sense. So you have an idea, I, um, some type of, um, if for a love reading, maybe you were asked out. Maybe you have to choose between two people. Um, maybe you need to make a move. The, where you're living, you just can't seem to find anyone, nothing's working out, maybe you need to travel somewhere else, you, you're deciding. You're deciding on something, a different job, a new job, and it's saying to decide and take action with the chariot in this one. And it's time to move forward, even though like the light to me and the dark represent being afraid, and but still like wanting to go and not wanting to go, or make the decision. You need to harness that energy and just move, and just start going. And, and uh, whatever it relates to you, time for that action. Okay, put the cards back in. Let me go back to what I was saying. I'm going to pull from this deck in one other deck, possibly three decks if I'm told. Let me, um, okay. Okay, the Wheel of Fortune, the Eight of Coin, the four of wands, I'm going to put them right side up because I want my cards, I want my cards up at this point. Um, working in stability. Let me pull a romance card for you really quickly. Okay, there's one sticking out here, so I'm going to take that one. It says separation. Okay, that... Okay, I'm going to pull one card from the Angel Answer deck. And I'll go back to the Wheel of Fortune because it did come out upside down. I'll explain and now then I may put it back. So we'll see. One message, please, for this reading. What would you like to tell them? Within the next few weeks. All right. So I like to try to just keep my decks upright for general readings. I like to try to keep things, because there's enough negative cards. We don't need to have upside down. But sometimes, you know, in personal reasons, it doesn't matter. Now, this came out like this. And so for some, you might read that as you, your luck is changing. It's not going to be good if it's upside down. But with the Eight of Coin next to it working, and the Four of Wands to me is stability. Those are beautiful cards. How would your luck be changing for the negative if you have followed by such good cards? And again, I like to keep my deck right side up for these general readings. Um, but then I pulled out separation. So it could be that you are separating from someone. Um, and that could be where your wheel is turned upside down. But then you have positive cards behind it. Again, you still have work. You'll still have some type of, uh, I like to read the four of wands usually as stability, maybe new stability. So it could be a new job. Um, some, sometimes it's read as, you know, a get together, a wedding, a party, some type of thing, but more, I always see more formal, but, um, with this here, this tells me though, this is stability. This is something that's going to, that's going to be stable. It can be work. If you don't work, it could be family. It could be moving in with family or something along that line. Um, I also read the wheel of fortune as even upside down, it is a good card. It doesn't have to be that your fortune is not is not going to turn. So that's why it could be relating more to the separation. This could be something that you weren't planning on, you weren't doing. You could be separating um, from a partner, or he may he or she. I'm sorry. I generally read for women, so I tend to always go that way, but. This also separation I'm hearing is also work. This is for work. Uh, this person will be um, not won't be necessarily leaving you permanently. This is a work separation that is so you're not happy about it. There he's unhappy about it, but you still have work. 
you'll still have, you know, abundance or stuff behind you. You'll still have the home, stable life, okay? This will happen within the next few weeks. So understand that there could be, and it, for separation, it can be almost anything. Traveling, work, um, there's other reason people get separated. Military, so that's not going to make you happy in your love life right now. Um, but they're still positive. So know that this will happen within the next few weeks. Um, and sometimes just, you know, I do use these cards in personal readings and they are very accurate. I actually use these quite a bit, this deck also in my, uh, my own life for, and they can be very, very guiding, very good cards. So within the next few weeks, there could be, um, for some of you, it will be a permanent split. This is a separation, a split up of a relationship, but there's positive around you. So don't worry about that. For others, it's just temporary. That is why you got the Wheel of Fortune. It's not a tower. I like to point that out. If I had the tower here and separation, that means you guys would probably be splitting up, breaking. But because it's the Wheel of Fortune reverse means it's just kind of downturn. You guys have to be apart for a week, a couple weeks, a month. Um, so it's not horrible. It's just, you know, a bummer. You want, you're going to miss him or her. and um, But it'll be okay. And it could be also that they will be gone for a few weeks. Also, I could read this. They'll be gone for two weeks. So, all right, not a horrible reading at all. You still have good things around you. Um, don't worry. Take good care of yourself, and I'll talk to you soon.